Campus. This is fight night at Madison Square Garden, and we are ready for our main event. Here comes Yuri Boy Campus. Weighed in at 159 and a half pounds. And he is a boxing warrior, has fought over 90 times, and he's fought the best that this sport has had to offer. Felix Trinidad, Oscar De La Hoya, Vargas. His best day coming in 1997 when he KO'd Raul Marquez in the eighth round to become the 154 pound world champion. He defended his title three times, held the belt for exactly one year. Yori Boy Kempas. And he feels Looks good, boy. that he still has a lot left. But it's going to be one exciting fight, let me tell you. I think we'll know early. Both guys get punched. We'll see who wants it more. And the question for Yuri Boy at 35, is he a shot fighter? Meaning his mind may not know what, may know what to do, but can his body cooperate with his mind? They usually say the first thing that goes is your legs and your ability to take a punch. He has been in a lot of wars, folks. The man holding the uh, IBA belt was Dean Chance, former Cy Young Award winner in the American League. So he got out of baseball into boxing. Joe Diaz, the trainer for Yuri Boy Campus. Man, a lot of people are going to wish they were here for this fight. You can just feel the electricity in the air. You think you were at a uh, Ali fight for crying out loud. Yuri Boy has been fighting as a pro for over 19 years. He has 606 total rounds. And he's got a ton left, I'll tell you that. I don't have to worry about this guy being shot. And here comes John Duddy. The young man, 27 years old, from Derry, Ireland. He's been fighting as a pro for three years, and he told me yesterday, I came to New York to find out how good I am. I'm fortunate. The people here in New York have taken to me, the Irish, the Irish Americans, and everybody else who enjoys a man that works hard. They've gotten behind me. And tonight, he will get an opportunity to see how good he is because he's taking on a fighter in Yori Boy Campus that is a former world champion and he's a man that's been in the ring with the best in the sport of boxing. Absolutely right. But he's going to find out real soon. It's a very courageous fight for these people to take this fight, unless they know something we don't know. It's always a question of the old beating up on the young, beating up on the old, trying to move up. We'll see. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think in this case, though, I mean, this kid can get past the third, fourth, fifth round. It's going to be one hell of a fight. So here we go, John Duddy, 17 and 0 against Luis Yuri Boy Campus. Here is the official introduction. Boxing fans, before we introduce our fighters for the main event of the evening, in the ring at this time, I'd like to introduce a man who is a six-time former world champion. He is the former two-time lightweight, the welterweight, the middleweight, and the junior middleweight champion of the world, known the world over as Los Manos de Piedra, Roberto Duran. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and now, Irish Ropes Boxing and DRL Promotions present Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City, our main event of the evening. Our main event is sanctioned.
sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Ron Scott Stevens, chairman. Our doctors at ringside for the main event, Dr. Rick Weinstein, Dr. Gerard Verlana, and Dr. David Schwab. And our timekeeper at the bell for our main event, Kathy Paolillo. <laughs> Boxing fans, our main event is scheduled for 12 rounds of action for the vacant IBA World Middleweight Championship. Our judges overseeing this bout, Billy Costello, Tom Schreck, and Tommy Kazmarek. And our referee for our main event will be Hubert Earl. Introducing first in the blue corner, he comes to us tonight all the way from Navajo, Sonora, Mexico. He weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. He wears red trunks with blue trim. Excellent professional record, 90 victories, seven defeats, 74 knockouts. Please welcome Luis Ramon Yori Boy Campas. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from Derry City, Ireland. He weighed in at 160 pounds, wears Kenny Green trunks with gold trim, has a perfect professional record of 17 victories, no defeats, 15 knockouts. Please welcome Ireland's John Daddy! <laughs> Referee Hubert Earl with our instructions. Okay, John, we're going to all the rules in the dressing room. Have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. So here we go. Wow. The young versus the old. Twelve rounds for the IBA John World Duddy. Middleweight Championship. Taking a big risk against the veteran, Yuri Boy Campus. Twelve rounds of boxing for the IBA middleweight title. Oof. Round one. Looks like Duddy's not even changing his style. He's going right after yeah. him. Yep. And Tommy Gallagher, you've seen a lot of great wars in boxing. You've seen a lot of great wars in this building. What should we pay attention to early for both fighters? Who gets off first and who has to make the adjustment? I mean, this is some fight, man. The electricity in this room is beyond belief. Double left hook oh, by with that. Tony connects. He didn't even get started. Campus. Double left hook again by Duddy. The last time Compass was stopped was in 03 against De La Hoya. He has a couple of losses on his record since then, but he hasn't been stopped. Compass comes in with a 98, 90 and 8 record, 74 KOs. He's been stopped six times in his career. Don't Stop. make him. Don't get him mad. <laughs> right hand connected for Duddy. Now the thing to worry about is the pace. This is a 12 round that Duddy's gone 10 once. Might right. have been longer. Absolutely right. And it's and you can just see how relaxed campus is. Right hand getting in again for John Duddy. Doubling up with the jab, Duddy. Derry, Ireland. Has recorded knockouts in his last two fights. He's been inactive for 109 days. Oh, beautiful oh, left hook right. by Campus. As he leaned in, he catches him again with the left hand. 
Campus was just seeing what he had to offer. Nice yeah. one, too. Another left took by Campus. Campus says that he is not finished. He still burns deep inside for being cheated out of millions of dollars, according to Campus. He was cheated by De La Hoya, by Trinidad, and by Vargas. They receive multi million dollar paydays. Right. Campus receiving no more than $70,000. His biggest purse. Oh, what a shot on top of the head. Another yeah. left hand by Campus. Right hand oh, gets man. in for Campus. Right. Oh, the referee got hit. Box. Box. The end of round one. Fireworks already. God has had to make him for the monstrous fight. <laughs> he can punch. Yeah. He can punch. But yeah. will his legs yeah. leave him? That's uh, the thing. Those legs ain't leaving. This, you're talking about a warrior. We're, we're real fortunate to be here to see this guy in action, win or lose. What a credit to the boxing business. Right. I don't know why they would put him in here with this guy. I guess they want to find out if they they need to keep putting give, putting money in this kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. You got to figure but that you out. Know, I guess. It could, it, there's not a better opponent out there that, that this kid can shine with. Tell him it's history. Welcome back. They threw a number of power punches in the first round. Campus throwing 31 power. Shots landing 18. Duddy throwing 49 power shots, landing 23. Round two scheduled for 12. And the way they're going early, this may not go 12 rounds. No, but I hope it does, man, because we're getting we're getting a treat here. Compass took the first third of that round, the first round to feel out Duddy's punches, coming back with multiple left hooks. I'm surprised yeah. Duddy hasn't gone to Campus's body like there. Yeah, but see, you can't get away with, with, with reaching with a, with a wide body yeah. shot with Campus. See how he hit him with that short left hook? Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about before. This, this guy's a world class, world champion, old star fighter, man. He lost his last fight, a split decision to Matt Vanda Everybody in knows. Minneapolis. Controversial decision. Straight right hand landed for Dunny. Nice one. Compass keeps coming forward. Yep. Now Duddy giving ground a bit. And Duddy's left eye is cut. This kid's got a plan, man. Duddy's backing up, trying to hit Sepp. He's taking shots to the head. Yep. What a night. What a bad night. cut on the left side. Very bad. Campus will leave him up now when he sees that. Especially the right hand lead. Yep. That left eye is looking very bad for Duddy. Oh, up jab no. gets in for Campus. Now Duddy rolling. Continuing to throw multiple combinations. Duddy's landing shots, but they're not stopping Campus in his tracks. He keeps coming forward. Yeah, he's looking to count. Him. See what that left hook he waits till he gets off and he comes with those on short little shots. What a fight. Crowd trying to get behind Duddy. Nice. Oh, a two by four Ooh, jab. Yeah. He tripled it up, John. Irishman Duddy. He's got to bring a right hand behind it, though. Yep. Well, that's the difference in experience. Yep. Right hand gets it for campus, followed by a left hook, and that eye looks very ugly for John Dunny. 20 out. Dunny, love him by right hand. Campus has him in trouble. Big round for Campus. The veteran. Man, this got the making of fight of the year right here. Then came the fight in New York. Mexico versus Ireland. 
forget about it. What a fight. Yes. Cut on Except both eyes. From side to side. You got to keep your hands up. Don't put no water on his head. The referee should take a seat, seat in the tight. corner and just let these guys fight. You're too tight. We don't need no ref in this fight. Punch. Campus cutting Duddy over both eyes. Take a look at the action from the round. Right hand buckled his legs like they didn't go down. Campus tried to come in, but you see your boy Campus, big time puncher. Right hand crushed right on the jaw. Duddy can take a shot. But his eyes that's right. don't seem to be holding up right Everything now. Well, no, that's this why is God nightmare. made two eyes. Okay, seconds, play the corners. Does Duddy does Duddy have to gamble now, John? Absolutely. Tommy. Absolutely. See Campus, look at him. Look how he is. Campus comes out jabbing. Overhand right connects. Campus. Looks like he's getting stronger as this fight goes on, and he's 35 years old, fighting a 27-year-old man. Duddy, I think, knows the sense of urgency. He's putting power behind his shots now. Right. But he's leaving his left hand a little low. I guess he answered the question about being shot. <laughs> ain't shot. Joe Diaz told me, Campus' trainer, that campus doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, doesn't go out on his wife. All he does is eat, drink, and sleep boxing. And he's looking for one fight that can catapult him back into championship contention. He feels John Duddy presents that opportunity for him. Wow. Wow. Duddy's in a mess to work right here. Duddy's landing solid shots, but Compass is just taking him and coming forward. Working upstairs. Okay, great. Right. Watch Compass go to work upstairs in the head. Right hand landing. He one two landing for Duddy as he pivots and throws a hook to the body. Okay. But Campus is right on him. Nothing hurting Campus right now. Let him fight, ref. This is not Duddy's fight to be trying to slug on the inside yeah, with Compass. Exactly. Got to try to do something from the outside with the power shot. Should make the old man use his legs by following around the ring. Watch your head, watch your head. Those legs look real good to me. Yes, they man. do, though. Because you want to see what, what kind of tires on the, what kind of treads on the tire. Duddy's got to go to the body if he wants to tire the older Compass. Compass has assaulted Duddy in the body since the very beginning. Uppercut getting in. And here's another body shot, followed by a right uppercut by Compass. Did I say Compass had slow hands? Yeah, that was in his <laughs> last fight. Bring him up, bring him up. Bring Compass has been the aggressor. Duddy. Fighting off his back foot, having no problems landing punches. What a marvelous performance. Wow. Compass is taking the young man to school, Tom. Yeah. He's doing more than that right now. He's abusing him. What a round. The end of round three. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. You see that great move? Wow. What a fight. Hey, you're not moving your head. Move your head from side and box him. Keep me in the middle of the ring and keep me at the end of your punching. You too tight. You gotta relax. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta relax, John. Listen to me. Hear me out. Listen to me. You gotta relax, Chief. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta relax. You're not relaxing. Breathe deep. Relax, John. No, Double that jab. Work. Double that jab. You better keep your head moving. Keep your head moving, John. Yeah. All right, move your head from side to side. Box him. Yeah. Sit down in your punch. You're still too tight. You ain't relaxed yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. His down. name is Big George. That's all I know. Yeah. Okay, seconds. Clear the corner. Let's clear the corner. Let's go. Welcome back. 
Round four, scheduled for 12. Frank. For the IBA Frank. middleweight Frank. title, John Duddy in green against Yori Boy Campus in red. And let's take a look at the power punches. Campus with the lead. John Duddy has been cut over his left eye. George Mitchell, his cut man, has been taking care of him. Gentlemen, how do you have this fight score? I got so it. Far. 29. Uh, 29, 28 for Compass. I gave him the last two rounds to Compass. In the first round, I gave it to Duddy very closely. Yeah, I'm with Tony on that. I think exactly the same score. Watch this guy at work, man. You're watching history here. Harry Kite, Duddy's trainer, telling him to watch move head, his head and head. box as opposed to standing toe to toe with Compass. And Compass really putting his punches together. Duddy trying to counter punch now. And you can hear Kite yelling, box. Kite telling Duddy he was too tight. Wow. Relax. There's a nice right hand, followed by a left hook by Compass. Duddy has to increase his distance and work the jab from the outside and stay there. Compass has to keep coming forward, work the body, go up to the head. Big right hand by Compass as he just keeps coming forward like a tank. Yeah. I guess we can put the shot fighter to rest. Came in at 159 and a half pounds. Duddy weighed 160. Body work by Duddy now. See him setting him up. He's trying to set him up for that left hook and he throws that right up to the body. Man, I wish, I hope there's a lot of kids that want to be fighters watching this guy. You learn watch something. Watch the head, watch the head. Big time. Let me see what God he's, that he's made of. He's doing, a, he, he's hanging in there, but he, he has to throw right, one right. shot that's going to turn the fight. I don't know if he's got it in him. You ain't turning anything with this kid around. This kid is methodically taking him apart. Duddy though, coming back, answering. Using his shoulders now to keep campus off of him. Duddy trying to get a little distance so he can keep the left hand. There you go, right hand too. Followed by a jam. Now he's boxing. Now John Duddy is boxing. He's gonna make the old man use his legs. Lead right uppercut, followed by a short left jab. Legs. This guy's got legs forever. Duddy's got to shoot the jab, make him walk into it. We've come to the end of the round. Great fight here in New York. Nah, this is like it used to be. Yeah, this is. That's what you need to say, huh? Yep. Gonna show some highlights when he starts boxing. We're gonna, you take this, all right? I'll set him up. I'll set him up. A better round for John Duddy. He started boxing more. Well, he had to make an adjustment. He's getting beat to death. I mean, this is some fight. This is like it used to be. Let's go, second. This, this is gonna be fight of the year. Look at this guy. He could be 500 years old. He don't care. Well, here comes Duddy. Boom. And Campus round five scheduled for 12. The IBA middleweight title. As you take a look at the punches. Round four. Great. Duddy Campus. throwing 74, Let's landing 27. Campus throwing 79, landing 35. Duddy boxing more toward the end of Great. the fourth round. Trying to keep Campus off of him. He's used his shoulders. And he's also trying to use his legs because Campus has been like a bull coming straight ahead. Can't stay in that corner. Not at all. Oh, not at all. Got to spin out of there. Or tie him up. Yep. Lead right hand landing followed by left hook. That's the best punch to back to Duddy. But Duddy, if you pay attention, he's finishing off low with his left hand. That's why he's been getting countered. Oh, right into it. 
sharp right hand by Compass. My God, what a fighter this guy is. But he keeps throwing punches. Yeah. Another left hook and a left hook downstairs. Duddy gives up a left hook downstairs to Compass. Oh, great combination. And he threw them within about eight inches of each other. Duddy's in trouble. Left hook right hand. He's bleeding from both arms. But he showed me something. Got off the road. Got a great chin, man. Both guys taking shots now. Right hand by Duddy lands on Compass. Now the crowd trying to get behind John Duddy. He's busted up, boy. Oh, busted up. Not even halfway through. So you can't get away with mistakes with this guy. Nope. Duddy's punches seem to be slowing down. Yeah. Oh, look at that shot. Right under the heart on the chin. Double left hook. Your boy Campus looks like he. Hey, Tommy, Duddy's got a heart. No, oh my God. <laughs> Big as the whole arena. Now Campus going back to work. What a fight. Oh, my God, this is great. You said it, oh, my Tommy head. Gallagher, like they used to do in the old days. Forever. You're talking the referees leaving him alone. They're fighting. Duddy's trying to throw that right hand over the top. Cap is looking to dig more shots to the body and go upstairs. Yeah, he's trying to get him to throw that right uppercut so he can hit him with the left hook. Wow. And that's the end of the fifth round. Warriors going wow. back to their quarters. What a night, man. What a night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nice and smooth. Got a boxing John. You gotta get you gotta get you gotta get, get your second one. You got a boxing John. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Move your head, look at me, John. John. I'm looking at you. John. Yes. Move to your right. When you friend the punch, grab him. Stop leaning with your head. Yeah. Move your head from side to side. Yeah. Give me some water. Campus, Campus working good in the round. Showed his experience right there. Works the body up to the head, just chopping away. Duddy's smart to get out of there, but Compass just keeps lasering his punches right up the middle, left and right. He doesn't waste a punch, Tony. This kid do not waste a punch. I don't know where we heard all right, about this guy being shot. Yuri Boy Compass looks fresh. Different story for young John Duddy. Round six scheduled for 12. As you take a look at the power punches, Compass, 235 thrown, 124 landed, over 50%. Oh, oh right hand connects on the jaw of Duddy. Right. Duddy wobbled by Compass in the second round. Up jab connecting for Duddy, followed by a short right hand. Duddy doing a nice job fighting inside, but his trainer Harry Cut wants him to box. He's right, he should be boxing. Right now they're trading body shots. The compass would have the edge there. Yuri Boy Compass, a world champion in 1997. When he beat Raul Marquez, stopping him in eight rounds. He's fought the best in boxing. Trinidad, De La Hoya, Vargas. And he is really trying to put it on this kid now. That left hook to the body has been there, right behind the elbow. Now the up jab, followed by the short left hook that barely missed. Maybe he should try a left hook to compass. Head. Dig one in there, see what happens. Oh, what a right hand. What he's got to do is he's got, when he's not doing nothing, he better tie this guy up and yeah. stay out of range. He's just laying right in front of him. Oh, 
What a fight. Less than a minute to go in the sixth round. He needs to try to double up on the left hook. Something's got to keep him off him. Bring it up, bring it up. Now Duddy trying to box. He gets on his he toes. Plays. And every time he boxes, right, right, right. Time, yeah, he he's right, more right, successful. You're absolutely right. You're right. absolutely right. Whenever he stands there, he's target practice for Compass. Oh. Compass does that. not want to search for him. He just missed that right hand. Or he should be staying outside, making Compass come after him, even at 35. Oh. Left hook okay. getting in again for Compass. Right hand lands for Duddy. Duddy rolling that right hand now. He better be careful. Mm. End of round six. Wow, what a fight, man. You gotta, you gotta think that he's gonna get tired at 35, don't you think? No, no. Not, way. I don't think so. I could, I could. So far, but Duddy hasn't done anything to make him tired. This guy's gonna fight this fight if it was 20 rounds, exactly the same pace and what he's doing, in my opinion. Gotta remember, Compass, he has twins and an 11-year-old. He feels that he's been cheated out of millions of dollars. And this is his opportunity. I tell you what, George Mitchell is earning his bread. That's correct. He's a protege of Al Gavin. Let's go, second! <laughs> Round seven, scheduled for 12. John Duddy in green. Yuri Boy, Compass. In red, this is for the IBA middleweight title. Campus in the sixth round with the 26 11 edge and power connects. There's a big right hand as he digs with the left hook. And as you mentioned, Tony, Duddy is really keeping that right hand low now. Gotta keep it up. That was a counter with a left hook. And you have to credit George Mitchell, the cut man for Duddy. He's a protege of the late Al Gavin. He's done a fantastic job Stand back. getting Duddy off the stool. Sure has. No question about that. Wow, look at Yuri Boy Campus. A technician. Yeah, that's the word. Taking away Duddy, Duddy's game, which is stay outside, work the jab from outside. Yuri Boy's using pressure to smother Duddy's punch. Now Duddy shortening up his jab, trying to step off the don't line. Push, don't push. Ooh, beautiful up jab as he pivots and gets away. Now he's making campus look for him. He's finding him though. <laughs> he is. Oh. Right hand connects for Duddy. But Campus is right there, walks right through it. I was in Vegas with Trinidad hit Campus, a hellacious shot and dropped him. I don't know if Duddy has that kind of power. He may have that kind of power, but he don't have it now. Yeah. Right hand. I don't know. Duddy may be finding his rhythm. Watch the number. Watch the portion. Oh, the there head. you go. Duddy slipping. Doubling up the hook. 36 seconds remaining in the seventh round. Scheduled for 12. Good round for Duddy. He looks good. Looking more like a boxer. Now he goes into the crowd. Then he still has a real good jab, good stiff jab. Campus still pursuing. Dunning with the right hand. Oh, what a shot. Seven seconds left. Great fight. On fight night. Here at the Lowe's. 
Man, he's taking this guy apart. And we'll stay right here between rounds. Harry Kite is the trainer for John Dunn. You don't even get your second win. You gotta keep boxing. You gotta keep boxing. When you grab John, when you're not punched, you gotta tie him up. Tie him up and walk him. Don't, Look how first scan this is. You gotta keep boxing. You gotta have something. Take a look at some of the action. Then he's trying to keep the distance, work on the outside, popping that stiff left jab of his, and then getting away from Compass so he can't counter. Second Very well stands right on top of him. That's when it's to his advantage. Well, at least he's picking up his jabs a little bit, Duddy, and that's what he needs to do. Jab, move, and don't stay in the hole with him. Landed 11 of 30. Jab, that's a really an increase. According to CompuBox, as you take a look at the punches in round seven, Duddy picking up the pace, throwing 67, landing 33. Boxing, working for John Duddy. Duddy. Let them fight, ref. Beautiful, stiff jab by Duddy. Splitting the gloves of campus. Now he goes to the body. Oh, work. Work. Tony, Duddy is figuring out the rhythm, when to stay inside and fight, and when to box. He knows he has to stay outside. He can't, he's not winning the fight. He's not really slowing him down from the inside. On the outside, he's working the jab, the right hand. That's the best thing. I, I think Yuri Boy is slowing down just a little bit, Tony. Duddy doubling up the left hook. Very Following it up with a nice left up jab. No, now Yuri Boy getting hit. This is a battle of attrition right now. Yeah, right. You're right about that. All that time you spend in the gym. All that time you spend on the road running. This is what it's for. You're absolutely right. But this, this kid's taking a beat. I mean, he could win the fight, but Campus is beating him to death. I don't know if he's going to be the same fighter after this fight. I, I have Compass up by a point. I have Compass winning every round but the first. Because you got to wait for Compass. Oh, what a fighter. I haven't seen Campus win every round. That's not what I've seen. Round eight, less than a minute. Another nice. right hand by Gunn. Beautiful. Nice right hand. Great right hand. By John Duddy. And this guy's going nowhere. He's coming right back. He's taking a lot of punishment, though. And we have a lot of boxing to go. Duddy doing a nice job blocking that left hook to the body. Moving his head, too. Campus right on him though. Yeah, but I think like Tony said, he's right. Campus is slowing down. That you know. right hand. He hurt right. him, I think, with that right yeah. hand. Short shot inside. We just figured. an old man. Now let's see if the young man can capitalize on Watch the right hand over the top, wobbles him, gets in there immediately, throws punches. He just didn't have enough time in the round to finish it. They need tape. They say they got none. They say they have none. Like the way how Duddy got right back in there. Yeah, you know, so he jumped right in. I'm amazed. Yeah, I mean, I'm amazed. And according to the boxing expert, what a fight. When you're an older fighter, 
Sometimes your mind knows what to do, but your body won't cooperate. The first thing that goes is your legs and your ability to take a punch. Let's see if that rings true. John Duddy has turned don't push, don't push. the momentum around. It's in his favor now. Good He's shot. Going. Now he goes to the body with the hook. You still have to be careful because Kappa can still punch. You're absolutely oh, right, oh, Tony. He's got to be careful. But let me tell you, this kid K got a second wind here. That's beyond belief. And his corner told him he was going to get that yeah. second win. You're absolutely right. Johnny has been past eight rounds only one time. And Good the shot. Hook gets in. Kappa's may be hurt. Kappa's slowing down. 35. It's starting to count now. John Dunn, 27 years old, 17 and 0, taking a risk against a man that's fought close to 100 fights, 606 professional rounds. Oh! Lands again for Dunn. His kid's got heart. Got some power too. What a fight! Get him finished. It's got to be fight of the year. This fight. Campus is in trouble. Let's see if Dunn can drop. Step back, throw the right hand. Yep, and it's over. He's stepping back. Let's see if he can load it up. Oh. Now, Compass comes back with a short oh. right. Left right for Duddy. Again, three punch combination. Duddy. Come on, come on. Oh. Stop it. And Compass, that's a fifth oh. move. Slowed him down a bit. But Duddy comes oh. right back. He said he came to New York to find out how good he was. He's finding out something new right now. John Duddy from Derry, Ireland. Look right. at him go. Compass is against the ropes. He's got it. his legs are gone, yeah. I think. Look at him. He's coming yeah, forward. He's, 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 he's hitting right. his legs. Right. And he's not punching with that authority like he was. 50 seconds left in the ninth round for the IBA middleweight title at the world's most famous arena. John Duddy. What a fight. Going to the body. Compass slowing down dramatically. Not your head. Right hand lands for Duddy. Double left hook lands for Compass. <laughs> left hook landing for Duddy. Oh, what a fight. from round nine. You see the hand speed of Duddy late in the fight still has him but he's got good power upstairs. Works the head. Giving up the body right now. Duddy's inside. There's the hand speed. There's the right hand. Power shots all landing. Compass loads in his leg. Compass maybe came into the rounds of 30 year olds. 35 now. Hey, Might be 40. Right. Right. <laughs> Tries to fight back but a good round again for John Duddy. What a fight. What a fight. Campos threw 57 punches in the ninth round. Lowest output since the first one. As you take a look at the numbers in the ninth round. Oh! Campos. Round 10, scheduled for 12. Irishman John Duddy and Green. Yuri Boy Compass from Mexico in red. Wow, my God, what a comeback. John Duddy deciding to box in the second half of this fight. And it's paid huge dividends. Compass has had to find him, and it's been difficult. You see Duddy staying on the outside. 
walked into a shot there, but he's got to go back, work it there. That's where he's got to be, right out there. And get the distance and hit him with those shots. There's a good jab by Duddy. Compa still game, though. Compa's looking to load up one Boom. shot. Great left hook. Duddy was wobbled in the second round. His knees buckled on a shot by Compass, but he didn't go down. Now Duddy and Compass slugging That's once again in the middle of the ring. Why is Duddy going back to fighting on the inside? Yeah, but he's so successful outside. Yeah. So he turned the fight around. Yeah, he's not giving him any room now, Campus. He knows. Once he's got that little distance, see, like that, he, he can hit him with shots. Compass is right there. In. Shoot the jab right behind the right hand, right behind it. The only dangerous thing is that Duddy's hands have really started to drop. Both hands now. He has to be careful. There's a left hook right oh. hand, though, by Duddy. Great left hooks, both of them. John Duddy has proven that he has a chin. Well, John Duddy proved that he's the real deal, win or lose. Let me tell you that. And he stays on the outside. It's going to be hard for people to beat him. I agree. You're absolutely right. Tenth round, scheduled for 12 for the IBA middleweight title. Now Duddy closing in. Campus inviting him in. He fought Trinidad. Trinidad got four million. Compass got twenty thousand. He knows that if he beats John Duddy on this night, he's got a chance to make some money. That's why he's fought as courageously as he's fighting right now. Duddy, 102, 25 edge, and jab connects in this fight. Now Duddy slows him down. Compass slowing down. Duddy's corner told him to smoke him in his last two rounds. If I agree with that. He's got to. But he's got to do it with, with range, with distance. Right hand going. Whoa! What an exchange of leather by both men. Will the age catch up with Yori Boy Compass? 35. He came in in excellent shape. 159 and a half pounds. Duddy though. He's backing him up. He's not firing back. As long as he's moving his hands, he's effective. He is. Break. Compass's legs. Are they giving out? They say your legs are the first to go when you get older. Compass not moving as well now. He's bouncing up and down, but he's not doing nothing with it. Duddy has to take advantage. Now Compass slowing down. Oh, no. the next for Duddy. Yori boy, Compass.
was his right for the picking. He needs a lucky shot now. John Duddy is in position to finish him. Compass trying to use all of his veteran experience to hide his fatigue. 38 seconds to go on the 11th. If he can get to the 12th, he can muster up three last minutes. Here comes Duddy. He's stolen the last three rounds in the last 30 seconds of each round. Good solid shot by Duddy. Yeah. Right. Yuri Boy is, uh, I think he's out of gas. Yeah, he's just trying to get through this now. Unless he's playing a little possum for the last round. And we'll stay here. Yuri Boy Compass is in pain as he grimaces walking to his corner. Something's wrong with his hand. But when you finish punching, do not stand. Don't pull straight yeah, out. Yeah. Cause you know what I'm saying? Man, what a he fight this is! Unbelievable. Him, yeah. Yeah. I'm really impressed with Duddy to come back from that beating he was taken early. Wow. How many young fighters we know would have just mailed it out there? You're absolutely right. This, that's what impressed me. And cut him both eyes from the second round on. Wow, this kid's got some future. And the MVP for John Duddy, if he is able to go on and win this fight, is his cut man. No question about it. Let's go, seconds. George Mitchell, protege of the late Al Gavin. And the crowd here at Madison Square Garden rises for the 12th and final round. And both boxes cut away. Putting it all on the line now. Compass has an injury. Maybe a shoulder, maybe a hand. Duddy can stop him if he just puts his punches together. Duddy still has to be careful. Exactly. He may not have any legs, but the last thing a bunch of losers break, is his punch. Break, break! Cut it on. No! Good job by referee Hubert Earl. He wasn't right. even there. What's the heaven? All right. Left hook landing right. for Compass. Oh, right. What a warrior. But he's just, look, both guys going for the knockout. Yeah. What a round. Right, right. right hand right. gets through for Duddy. The 12th and final oh. round. Work. Don't hold. Go hold. Break, break. This round may determine the fight. It's close. Bring him up, bring him up. Compass coming back, fighting off his back foot. Punches and punches. He's at victory. Break, break, break. And he's showing break. his ring generalship. Let him fight, ref. What a fight. Compass got Duddy Let's to go. take it back inside the phone booth. Yeah, and, and, he, and he's beating him in there again. It's been a brawl from the beginning. 115 left. Duddy in green. Compass in red. Here comes Here Compass comes again. Duddy's hurt. Duddy's hurt. Duddy's hurt. Let's see if he fights back. Nuts and guts. Oh, man. man. Let's see if you can hold on. All right, don't push, don't push, don't push. The old man has made a comeback. He still has the punch. Can he finish? Now yeah. Duddy fights back. No, oh, yeah. yeah. Duck Duddy. Yeah. What a chin by Duddy. What a fight. What a fight. Yes, right. 30 seconds left, fight in a year, maybe the century. This fight hanging in the balance. Yeah. To go. Everybody's standing in the arena. Unbelievable. Compass. I'd be standing. Duck, Duddy, back to the ropes. Oh, what a fight. Ten seconds to go. Duddy, what do you got left? Four seconds.
Bulldogs, Yuri Boy Campos. What a fight, my God. years old. We ain't passing the baton tonight. I got Duddy 115, 113. I didn't learn to count that high. <laughs> My God, I don't know how you could keep scoring this oh, fight. A tough one. Big time he got hurt. There you see Compass out of gas, being beaten, bang, right hand body shots, big power shots. Duddy gets hurt in that last round. These two fighters threw 185 punches in the 12th and final round. The connects, they were 75 of 185, a combined 75 of 185. Compass threw 103 punches. Duddy, 82. Unbelievable. All I want to do is say, guys, thanks for bringing me into your world. Because the grip, best place to watch a fight. It's the sweet science, John no. Duddy. No, this is no sweet science. Both fighters showed tremendous heart. Compa still has some talent left. Yeah, anybody who says he's shot better get a uh, job. As we take a look at the total punches. Duddy throwing 856, landing 380, 44%. Compass 786 landing 316 40% according to CompuBox. And, and, and Compass lo looks uh, in better shape than Duddy. <laughs> Man, what a fight. There's no loser here, I'll tell you that. No. But you have to believe that for the John Duddy corner, the butterflies are flying right now. 17 and 0. They took a chance fighting Yori Boy Compass to see where they stood. Absolutely. Found out a lot. As yeah, the they two found gentlemen, out they got the real deal there. Shake hands. A lot of class. Nice to see. Yori Boy Compass proving that at 35. He still has something left. John Duddy proving that at 27, he's still learning, but he's got something that you can't measure, and that's hard. Now for the decision, let's go to ring announcer Joe Antonacci. Boxing fans, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Tom Kazmarek scores the bout. 117 to 111. Oh, who the fuck? Oh. Judge Tom Shrek scores the bout. 116 to 112. And Judge Billy Costello sees it. 115 to 113. All for your winner. By unanimous decision, and the new IBA middleweight champion, Ireland's John Denny! So John Duddy wins a unanimous decision over Yuri Boy Compass. 117-111, 116-112, 115-112. John Duddy becomes the new IBA middleweight champion. And he earned it the hard way. Oh man, what a fight. What a great, great fight. Tommy, your thoughts on this decision? I thought the fight was a lot closer than that. I'll be honest with you. But I can't, uh, I can't dispute that, man. They were just, it was too exciting. John Duddy improves to 18 and 0 as he defeats Yuri Boy Kappas, the former world champion. He now dons a new IBA middleweight belt. Coming up, we'll talk to the 27 year old.
<laughs> yeah. Can you erase that? <laughs> Tommy, he's talking to you. You're great. Look at the blood on his socks. How does the blood get on his socks? Wow, what a fight. You hear me? What? Here we go. Are you ready, John? Fought hard, though. The crowd filing out at the world's most famous arena, but they got their money's worth this evening. Yori Boy Compass and John Duddy went toe to toe for 12 grueling rounds. Compass starting out quickly, controlling the fight early, but Duddy eventually decided to box and he walks away with his first title, the IBA middleweight title, and he's standing by with our Tony Payne. Thanks very much, Gus. I'm here with the champion. Let me ask you right off the bat, you said you wanted to see what you could do in this country. What did you prove to yourself tonight? Well, I think that I got on with a, a living legend like uh, Yuri Boy Campus, and uh, I, I've had an experience like no other experience I've had in my life. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know I have a lot to learn, and I think I learned a tremendous amount tonight. But I think I did enough to win the fight and prove that I know I have a lot to learn, but I'm capable of learning it. And we're going to keep uh, moving upwards and onwards and keeping the New York flag flying. You got staggered early in the fight. Yes. Cut over both eyes, as we see. Yeah. How come you did not lose focus? Well, you know, uh, this, is, this comes with a sport. You know, you get knocked back. You have to get up again. You got to keep punching forward. You got to keep moving. You got to keep throwing punches. And uh, Yuri Boy brought out uh, something to me that I didn't think I have. You know, I was scraping the barrel there. I was down deep. I know I knew that this is a guy I got to keep caught, got to keep moving. Even though he's hitting me, I got to keep punching back. I got to keep hitting him. And uh, he took some of my best shots. And like a true champion, he came back. And uh, I think that I've that done just, justice to myself to be able to stand 22 with Alex Yuri by campus. When you stayed on the outside and used your jab, you seemed like you were much more effective than trying to go inside. Yes, 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 I, I did. And I, as my coach will tell me, I got a bit complacent. I was thinking because I'm a slightly bigger than a Yuri boy, I could have tried to stand 22 with him. But like the man's left hook's beautiful. You know, he helped me. He helped me to the body. He helped me to the head. He helped me low. He helped me with everything. But I, I took it. I kept coming. And uh, it might have been the prettiest performance, but it was damn, uh, I reckon, my best performance in the ring so far. Your corner was so calm. Harry Kite, George Mitchell did a great job on the cut work. So all that blood early in the fight, didn't see much after that. So that must have put you at ease. Well, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it comes with a sport. This is my first time really been cut in the professional ranks. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, oh, uh, as much as they say it don't look nice, you got to take it, you got to soak it up, and you got to come back. And I, I think I was able to stand through the toughest test in my career tonight and pull out a victory. Well, you got you got the hardware to show it. Let's go down to the spring side. Hey, Gus Johnson. Thanks very much. All right, Tony, congratulations to John Duddy. Improved to 18-0 as he defeats Yori Boy Compass in just a marvelous fight at the world's most famous arena. Duddy, he will be sore tomorrow, but he'll have that belt around him all evening to help the pain go away. What a great crowd at the world's most famous arena for Tommy Gallagher and Tony Page. I'm Gus Johnson. So long, everybody. This has been Fight Night.